Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we hunted down the shadow bugs just to find out that the last one that we need is over there. And it's also, there's some lightning too, so. Swim your way over this way. Onto this stuff. This is like literally debris and stuff. It's quite terrible. I don't think you need to turn on your senses. Because, oh yeah, that's right. It's been a long time ago. Uh, bubbles! Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's not so bad. How bad could it be? Ah! Uh, Enjoy the boss fight, the shadow, the shadow bug queen. When she gets close, latch on and start attacking, like you usually do with the shadow beast. She will proceedingly do this. Perfect. Not yet. And this, I know what I was saying about the giant shadow Kagarok being a boss fight. This is an actual boss fight. So treat it like one. What the hell? I just got kicked off it. Come at me! Ugh. Now, you have to jump onto the bug and do that! <laughs> that thing is really gross. I'm not gonna lie, that thing is just hideous. Boom! All oh, that turns into that And once you get that, that's your last tier. Which means now the Lenin of Providence is saved from the Twilight. No more Twilight! <laughs> Yay, the light has returned to this area, blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. I'm in the you make sure to get that last few shadow now. <laughs> See you later. Now this light spirit's full of cutscenes, so I should warn you of this. Not to mention it's my favorite light spirit. Uh oh. Uh huh. Hi. <laughs> Love this guy. My name is Leneru. Your efforts have at last restored each of us light spirits in Hyrule. O oh, hero chosen by the gods. The dark power that you seek. It waits in a temple set in the bed of Lake Hylia. But before seeking it, you must now bear witness to something, and never forget it. You must know that it was the... It was... Blah, blah, blah. You must know that it was the will of the goddesses that we lock away the forbidden power. I can fly! When all chaos, when all was chaos, the goddesses descended and gave order and life to the world. Remember this from Ocarina of Time? 
They granted power equal equally to all who dealt dwelt in the light and then returned to the heavens. The lands where the goddesses descended came to be known as the Sacred Realm. For ages, the people lived at ease, content in mind and body. A little cliche, don't you think? But soon, word of the Sacred Realm spread through Hyrule, and a great battle ensued. Hey, that's a knife! living in the light, interlopers who excelled at magic appeared. Wielding powerful sorcery, they tried to establish dominion over the sacred realm. It was then that the goddesses ordered us three light spirits to intervene. We sealed away the great magic those individuals had mastered. <laughs> Creepy. You know this magic. It is the dark power you seek, the fused shadow. Oh, hero chosen by the goddesses, beware. Those who do not know the danger of wielding power will, before long, be ruled by it. Never forget that. This is seriously creepy! The dark power that you seek is within the sleeping lake bed temple in Lake Hylia. After that very disturbing cutscene, we are now human again. Hooray! We have an inventory. <laughs> Although that's one of my favorite cutscenes, I will admit that is just creepy. But now, see Lake Hylia for its more glorious beauty. I actually feel at ease whenever I'm actually here. This place is just gorgeous. Also, as I was saying when I was over there in the last episode, that those islands were not there because that house... Fire! That's pretty much the island where you have to land for fire's game. Also, there is that... Uh, there's... I'll show you this now. There's a tower up there and that uh, Howling Stone up there. We're not gonna get that how We're not gonna go to that Howling Stone until later, so... To this point, do not worry about it. Now, I don't think there are... Well... There might be. I'm thinking there are some golden... I think there might be a thing of golden bugs here. Then again, I'm not too terribly sure. I'm not too terribly worried, but... I believe there's a golden bug over here. If not, then I'm just a freaking idiot. I really do not think there are... Nope, okay. There are no gold bugs in Lake Hylia, I don't think. I can't remember it. I know where they all are, but... As of late, my memory has decided to go completely AWOL on me. No, not absent without leave. It's just... It's just been a little fuzzy, I should say. Also, when we use that, uh, as I was saying, 
I think two episodes ago. Now this guy, this annoying ass bird. We'll sit by the reed here in Lake Hylia, mainly because he is your key to getting all the way back up that way. And that's what I was meaning by the mini game, but we can't play it. Hi, Zora. I'm a member of the Zora tribe, the proud people who care for Lake Hylia. The other Zoras are all on guard patrol at the bottom of the lake. Yeah, they're all the way down there. Yeah, 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 shit. Some of the Zoras are still alive down under there? I thought maybe they dried up along with the lake. Hey, buddy, have you heard? There's a light. There's like a temple or something at the bottom of this lake. They put on such airs with all their rituals and fancy temple hoo ha. Then they just disappear. No one's putting that temple so deep that humans can't swim there. I swear, those Zoras. Oh. Are you a customer? <laughs> you are one lucky fella, fella. The height of excitement, the thrill of launching to the heavens, the very peak of flying fascination. It could be yours, fellow, for a limited time only and without waiting in line. It's party. It's a part or paltry ten piece, whatever. Actually, yes, we're actually going to do it mainly because there's nothing in Lake Hylia right now that we can do. So enter there. And whenever I do this, I'm going to skip it, but I'm going to let you guys see it just this once. This is honestly from Lake Hylia since we can't warp. Oh, hold on. Whoa! That reminds me of something. Didn't the late queen in Zora's domain ask you to do something? She asked us to find her son. The one who's been missing since he had for Hylia Castle. Then she said something about getting to use some special power to rescue him. The final piece of the fuse that was in the, the bottom of Lake Hylia. Looks like we're gonna need that ability. As I was saying before Midnight interrupted, how rude. From Lake Hylia, that is your only way to get up to here, up to Hyrule Field. Woo! Back in Hyrule Field. Love this theme still. So... Hmm. Unfortunately, we can't really get many heart pieces because of the lack of equipment that we have. Horse call. Horsey, yeah. We actually need to go this way. Yeah. Let's go in the evening. Heal upon him. Get the rupees, get the rupees, get the rupees, get the rupees. Yes, I know it's a five. You don't have to tell me every get damn time. Yeah. We're gonna encounter our new enemy here. Unless that's later. Yeah, more of these tracks on the wall. Those are explainable later. Yes, this is a new enemy. <laughs> oh, no, they're not there yet. Damn it! There's a certain enemy that's coming up that'll be in this like little urch! I forgot about the rubies. Who's it didn't tell me it was a 10? Damn it! I had to say something. Okay. I see, we just took the more fun way to get up here. <laughs> Uh, if you remember how in the last episode I completely- I was a complete idiot! Actually, hold up. Boom. Okay. 
And once we cross over that, we can head out to the Zora's Domain. It's filming nighttime. And yes, as I said before in one of the previous episodes, there is a night and day setting. You can even see the sky change too. Hey! How you doing there, guy? I have defied your logic. <laughs> there are golden bugs in the- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Yes, greetings. Two letters. Oh, that's new. I'm not gonna put a voice for the postman anymore, mainly because he's just an annoyance to me. So, what new letters have we received? I don't remember. Ah, bonds. New type of bombs. Oh, yeah, we gotta go back. I don't think we can. not No, we will, though. Uh, as in Henna's Playground for Grown Ups. Yes. That's good. We're actually going to be heading there. Uh, I'm going to kill myself for this. We're going to go visit that place. This is just kind of a little bit of a... I guess you could say this is an optional episode. I don't want to make it as long as the last one, though. Mainly because... Oh, crap. Get on. Get back on the horse. <laughs> Bye. Have fun, Apuna. I'm out of here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was mean. I know, but uh, things must be done this way. Okay, so please don't hit the water. Please hit the water. Oh, wait, yes, please hit the water. <laughs> As I said, I'm an idiot. Uh. Isla and Henna's Playground is actually this place up here. <laughs> Man, because it's awesome. I don't know which one that is anymore. <laughs> Uh, this is Hannah's fishing hole? Yes. This is actually very, a very interesting place. Or it's just known as the fishing hole. But, uh, yeah, there is a heart piece in here. I should let you know this. It's like right over there. So, yeah, you can see it. Here, I'll show you with the Hawkeye. I'll put the name so away. Yep, there it is. You can see it. Unfortunately, at the moment, we can't get it, man, because we need to go inside and ask Kenna to give us, like, a boat or something. We need to go fishing. But the reason why I decided, you know, we're just going to come here for this episode, mainly because, not because we're going to catch fish, it's because this little area right here. Take your fishing line, throw it in, and pray that you get what is actually here instead of the fish. This might be it. Please tell me it is. This is not it. Hi, Green Gill. Damn it. Okay. There is a useful item, not fish. A useful item within this little tiny section. There it is! The empty bottle! There are two birds and one stone. Oh no. That's actually all that's in there. I spent my entire like time finally trying to wonder what that was about, and then I finally realized it. Two birds and one stone. It's not saying there are two dead birds and one stone in there, no, it's meaning two birds and one stone is in not only do I get to keep it, but I also get to help clean it up and blah 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 and all that kind of crap. <laughs> Okay, we'll go get that heart piece, and then we'll end the episode. Well, there are bees in this area, by the way. Ah. 
They look so happy. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Hey, you. You've never been here before, have you? Well, I'm the owner of this fishing hole. My name's Hannah. <laughs> nice to meet you. You can actually also, if you examine the pictures, she'll tell you about them and... <laughs> hmm, doesn't he look... Doesn't he look familiar, everyone? We can look at all the pictures. Uh, don't piss her off by bashing her face into everything. Okay. Also, uh, since this is our first time, she'll even come along with us to tell us what the heck we're doing. So she doesn't need to, we're just gonna go get this heart piece. Maybe. Can we get this heart piece? Huh. I don't think we can get it right now. But we will. We will next up or we will in a future episode because mainly because I don't want to stay here in the fishing hole all episode. So we're gonna actually head to the castle town in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I am Eric, signing off. Have a good day, everyone.